Hey y'all, today we're going to be stepping through our hookup guide for our new Thing Plus Matterboard. Uh, we're going to start by downloading and installing the Simplicity Studio IDE and uploading a quick example sketch to the board to make sure that we've got things talking to stuff. So first things first, go ahead and download the Simplicity Studio installer and get that up and running. You will need to create a free account with Scilabs to get started, and I recommend jotting your password down somewhere as you will need it to log into the software. So now that we've got our installer opened up, we can go here to this setup application and we'll double click that and let that get running. All right, so now that we've got Simplicity Studio up and running, it's gonna ask us to put in our, our Scilabs credentials here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can just uh, skip logging in and do it later, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now. Okay, so you may be brought to this product updates page upon launching the studio. Just go ahead and allow it and update everything and it'll restart and we'll get back on track. So we'll hit update all. All right, so now that installation's complete, we'll hit close here and restart Simplicity Studio. This is where having your password written down somewhere comes in handy because we will have to log in a couple times as we do this. Now that we're inside the studio, we'll see this installation manager pop up asking how we'd like to install our devices. So we're going to go ahead and select install by connecting devices. Uh, and then we can connect our Thing Plus Matterboard via USB. Uh, and you may get a pop up about needing to install certain drivers after you do that. Um, go ahead and allow that to run and we'll just knock everything out as we go. So we're going to plug in our friend here. And here's this required packages installation thing. So we'll go ahead and say yes. And then you noticed here, like once it did that, the, uh, the name of J-Link uh, went away and it's now called SparkFun Thing Plus MGM 240P. And that's, that's our little friend here. So we're going to grab him, hit our next step. All right, so this next page is going to ask us if we want to allow Simplicity in to install all of the recommended development packages or if we want to manually select which packages to include. We want to have all the fancy things. So we're going to select Auto and move on to the next step. All right, so this installation is a little bit of a beefy one and does require a restart of the studio, so it'll take a minute or two to finish up. Uh, but I have the luxury of, of editing, so I will see you on the other side. All right, now we're going to restart Simplicity Studio once more. All right, now that we've got all of our bells and whistles installed, we can go ahead and select start with our connected device. If for some reason your installation manager did not pop up when you launched the studio, uh, hitting start will prompt it to run, in which case you'll just step through everything we just covered at, at that point. So we'll go ahead and hit start. Look at all these fun things. There's loads of really cool information available here. So definitely take a little time to check that stuff out. For now, let's navigate to the example projects and demos tab. So once we're on this page, we're going to go to this filter field and type in the keyword blink. Hit enter. And we're going to look for this guy right here, platform blink bare metal, and we're going to click create. Uh, this opens up a window that allows you to change the name or location of this project. And I'm just going to call this matter blink example for funsies. Blink example. And then we can hit finish. All right, so after that project is built out, it opens up a lot of things over on this left-hand side of the page under Project Explorer. We really just want to look for now at two things. The first thing is the main project folder. By right-clicking on this, we can come down to this Run As option and select what's available here, which is One Silicone Labs ARM programs. We're going to go ahead and hit that. So this builds out and flashes the project to our board, which should now have its blue stat LED blinking on and off at a half second interval. We can see here that that is what it's doing. All right, now for me, my board was already flashing the stat LED when I powered it up. So I wasn't really sure that anything had changed after I ran the example. So to double check that we're running what we think we are, uh, we can go down to this blink.c file and double click it. This will open up the code running our blank example and we can see here that the interval is set to 500 milliseconds or one half second. So what we can do is set it to a value of something that's obviously different like 3000 milliseconds which is 
three full seconds to be certain that our board is hearing our studio. So let's do that now. Uh, and now that we've, we've changed that value, we can go up again and go to our run as. Success. All right, so we can clearly see here that our stat LED is flashing much slower than before, which means we're definitely up and running with Think Plus Matter and the Simplicity Studio. And that's how you get up and running with Matter. Be sure to check out the additional information inside of Simplicity Studio. There's also other example sketches to check out. Uh, I'm personally really excited to see what this technology can do and what you guys can do with it. So be sure to tag us in things that you're making with this and let us, let us see your journey. Um, happy hacking. <laughs>